coming home, I think it was a great, great, great uh, opportunity to come home. Yeah. And doing all this in Europe, at the end of the day, your people need you here too. When you stand here, your mm -hmm. chances of missing it is high. <laughs> but I have fantastic goalkeeper, be careful, he can die. Oh! So now, over to you. No pressure! <laughs> oh, on my whistle. Hey! <laughs> on my whistle. Hey, Radie! <laughs> They're all watching, guys. How embarrassing if I miss. Jama today. Today is a day of celebration right here on Ekriya Dimple's channel. Kiss from the Dimple. Kiss from the Dimple. Ekriya Dimples. I am signing in. Family, today I am right here in Accra, Ghana, about to meet our special guest who has brought us here today. As we know, to some people, Ghana is the independent square. To some people, Ghana might be a nightclub. To some people, Ghana is a church. But to our guest today, this is Ghana. I wonder who our special guest here today is. Well, we have some clues right there behind me and I'm sure some of you have spotted him already. Our guest is so special. The biggest of the biggest. You know, I just feel like on this channel, we keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And I am so excited to meet this guest today because he is known throughout the entire Ghana. Scratch that. He is known throughout Africa. No, scratch that. He is known on an international global stage. And I am so excited because our special guest has played football for the likes of West Ham United, Fulham, Leicester City, only to name a few. His accolades stretch far and wide, way beyond me. But you know what? God has given me that mantle today and we are going to speak to our guest and tap a little bit into his knowledge of Ghana, Africa, and how we can continue to aspire to inspire, which is my motto on this channel. I'm so excited for today's interview and our special guest. Let's go meet him and he's right here waiting for us. Let's go family. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Ekria. Oh, pleasure uh, to meet you today. You're welcome. You're welcome. I mean, up here on Ekria Dimple's channel, we are absolutely pleased and over the moon to have you here with us today. Likewise, likewise, <laughs> likewise. You're welcome. Thank you very much. So I've already introduced you, mentioned all the things that you are doing, you know, and who you are, but give us just a little intro about yourself for others who want to hear it from his own mouth. Your name and, you know, how we know you. Right. <laughs> My name is John Painto, like everybody knows. Yeah. And uh, I'm a Ghanaian born. Uh, my dad is a panty, my mom is an Ewe. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Good mix. <laughs> exactly. Very big one. Yeah. So, um, I'm from Ghana. Yeah. And I've been to Europe as well. Former Black Stars uh, defender. Yes. <laughs> hey, defend. Uh, yes. Uh, West Ham, Fulham, Leicester, Maccabi Tel Aviv, Hapoel Tel Aviv. And I mean, I will say welcome once again, Nikuya. Thank then, you. This is uh, John Pinto Football Academy Field. Uh, we're trying to give back to our people. Uh, you can see there's a lot of construction going on. They really want to do well for the grass so that the boys can get their good surface and home. So, um, I'm a football loving person mm -hmm. and an ex footballer. Yes. Um, like I'm stars. a Christian as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, that's all about uh, John Pinto. Right, so, um, Mr. John, I know you have, you know, played football abroad. And my audience, they are mainly people in the diaspora. 
who want to make that transition back to Ghana and they want to make that big move. So as someone who has lived abroad and now you are in Ghana, how was your move, you know, transitioning back home? I think it was a, it was a great decision moving back home. Mm -hmm. And what I always know is that uh, never forget where you come from. Yeah. And home always be home, home sweet home. Uh, so during my career in Europe, I started from Israel, played in clubs, Maccabi wow. Tel Aviv, Apoi Tel Aviv. Mm -hmm. uh, moving to England, played for West Ham, Fulham, and Leicester City. Yeah. Then from there, uh, you know, football, when the age is catching you, you need to, you need to have plan. Like we all know, mm -hmm. there's life after football. Oh, wow. So you start thinking what to do after your career. Yeah. And I pick up uh, to become a coach after my career. I start planning uh, 2008 okay. when uh, when I met one of the coaches, uh, Koeloa, mm -hmm. and I was admiring him a lot. And then also the coaches that I was working under were Hoxton in England. Mm -hmm. So I said coaching job would be amazing because these are the people that inspire me, my own coaches. So from Leicester City, I decided to move back to Africa. Uh, to hang up my the boots. Big decision. Yes, it was a very, very big decision. So I moved to South Africa. Oh, wow. Uh, you didn't come to Ghana? I didn't come to hey, Ghana. Brad, yeah, coming, <laughs> <laughs> coming to Africa. I mean, South Africa too is part of yes, definitely. Uh, Africa. So they are I, brothers. Yes, I moved there because the league was exciting okay. and I wanted to taste and see how it worked. But it was great. It was okay. great. Um, I had opportunity to play for Santos, mm. Cape Town, for a season. So after one season, I moved to Marysburg United okay. in Marysburg in South Africa, yeah. in around Durban. So I had two seasons there. So from there, I decided to hang up my boots, retire finally. Wow. So after retiring, a um, few months, I got a call mm. to become an assistant coach for Kaiser Chiefs. Yes, tell me know that. <laughs> wow. In South Africa, <laughs> one of the biggest clubs in Africa, which uh, I admire them a lot. So I had the one season experience to become a coach. So then I decided to come home and do my own thing. Wow. Try to give back to my own people. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you have heard about the Legon cities. Yes, I have. Yeah, um, I started the whole thing. And now when I sit down, I feel proud that that was my sweat. That was mm. my effort waking up early morning. Like here, you came, you see the time we were training. We start Half Five, past six, six a.m. Uh, he half past was six here. Yes. Hard work. So wake up every morning, five in the morning, shower, do whatever I want to do, then move on here. Because it's also good to help the boys. Yeah. You sleep early, you know, wake up early, become more professional, punctual at training. Uh, players who play with time is not Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, so coming home, I think it was a great, great, great. Uh, opportunity to come home yeah. and doing all this in Europe at the end of the day your people need you. Did you hear that guys? Your <laughs> people need you. Yes. Yeah. So I mean picking up this uh, this team now, John Painter Football Academy, it's also to prepare the boys. Because yeah. you never know. I was somewhere Brown Harpo playing for Breaking Masters local side when uh, may he so rest in peace, could you care planning came to pick me up. And now, this is this is me, John Pinto. Nobody knew who John Pinto was somewhere in 1987. Mm -hmm. Then 2000, the year 2000, I was discovered by Virginia Pan. Yeah. So it's the same way when you see these boys, these boys are not from right and some of them are from Masi, Pogu, some from uh, Gota region. Yeah. So what I did, I start from the whole region. Wow. Because I know the same way I was discovered. Yes. I can always discover same John Painter, maybe four or five that will help the national team. Wow. I love that, you know, you don't you're not limiting it to just Accra because many people come to Ghana and they are so limited to Accra and they stay in Accra, but you are expanding that territory all across Ghana to really scout these boys. So I know, you know, you've moved back and you're starting to establish, you know, your football team and you've got so many plans in the pipeline. Was it easy coming back, you know? How, what steps did you really have to take? Because some people come back and they're here for a year maximum and then they go back because they feel like, oh, 
it's not what I thought. I thought it would be easier than this. And you know, is there anything that we need to be aware of coming back? So before we even answer that, let's let's take a walk because I can see your boys are very hard at work over there. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. See now they are doing their their stretching. Yeah. So So um, what things do we all need to, you know, be aware of coming back home? Because yeah. I know it has its ups and it has its downs. Yeah, exactly. Um I think coming coming back is sometimes easy to decision mm. but when you come and you see what is happening inside yeah. if you're not strong and if you don't believe why you you came home mm. you might you might end up giving up yeah yeah because uh, we are in a place where people like to allow you to work on your own to see how far you can go mm. stretch your limit stretch your <laughs> limit yeah so if you are not determined yeah. if you don't believe why you came home mm -hmm. you might end up giving up Okay. And for me, what is helping me is um, I'm somebody like when I start something, I finish. Yeah. So I still have that uh, spirit in me mm. that I'm not somebody who give up easy. So I always keep going, keep fighting because once I see the future, I know where I can go. Wow. So I think our people who want to come home, Ghana is a very, very peaceful yeah. country. Yeah. I mean, the whole world, everybody knows. So. Um, you can have it. Exactly. Oh, I mean, sometimes you meet the the pepper. You meet, <laughs> you the see, hot, hot, the pepper. hot, hot pepper. <laughs> but it doesn't it doesn't stop you from eating uh, spicy food. Exactly. You, understand. you so enjoy it. I enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, our people are nice yeah. and they support good things. That one, nobody supports evil things exactly. or bad things. So. Uh, this is Ghana. They will allow you to work, sweat, stretch you, make sure that uh, test you at all angles, whether you give up or not. But if you don't give up, you keep pushing. This guy will always be in the limit. Wow, yeah. I love that. You know, guys, this is a man who he's a legend, you know, in the books of Ghana, within Africa, even on an international stage. And he's telling us, you know, regardless of the ingredients, whether it's pepper, whether it's, you know, spice, you need to endure it and keep going, even though your limits will be stretched. But in the end, it will be a success. I'm just so happy to be in your presence today. And I want to know more because I know there are some young men watching and they're thinking, how do I get here? How do I manage to get myself in John Pencil's Academy? Please tell us if someone's watching, how can they you know, join your lovely team here? Yeah, it's, it's easy to, to find us. Um, I think John Pencil Football Academy, we are yeah. on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Just John Pencil Football Academy. Okay. So when you follow us and then you, you pin us there, mm -hmm. you'll get all your information. And, okay. then, and where we train, we train uh, East Legon mm -hmm. um, High Tension Park. Okay. It's around the Islamic University. Yeah. So we are training time is 6.30 in the morning. By, by 6.15, <laughs> your boot is ready to go. <laughs> so 6, uh, 6.30 in the morning, 6.30 a.m. Training starts by 8 a.m. The training is done. Okay. Yeah, so um, nothing much. We are looking for talent. Yeah. Um, well, then in June, we'll be doing a football campaign for mm -hmm. kids from 7 to 15 years. Oh, wow. That, that's what the academy wants to do. Okay. So for now, those we have here, 16 to 21 years, yeah. Yeah, they're already pro and we are preparing them. So we will have a, a camp in June because mm -hmm. the kids will be home okay. doing nothing. So we we'll use that to also showcase and get the talented ones. Wow. Yeah. There's nothing, you know, a lot of you know that I train teachers and I work with children and there's nothing I'm more passionate about children. And I think it's such a, an amazing thing you are doing for the country. So if anyone is watching and they want to support the academy, they want to know how they can help you bring so much more out of these children. And, you know, they might want to be a sponsor. How, how can they reach you with business opportunities? Yeah, I think I uh, can uh, put my email and my telephone number. Okay. Yeah. So if I'm right to go ahead. Yes, of yeah, course. It's uh, jp4 mm -hmm. at gmail.com. Lovely. Yeah. And then the other one is a jp4 Gionju. Gionju. J E O N J U. Okay. J E O N J U. At gmail.com. Yeah. Lovely. At gmail. This is our legend. 
This is our Ghanaian legend, and when he's in Ghanaian defence, hey, no go shall enter. <laughs> and it's been our absolute pleasure. But before we go, what else outside your football can we be on the lookout for? Because I know there's so much levels to you. And is there anything else you would like to share with us? Um, I'm not a going person. Mm -hmm. I'm not a going person. I'm always at home. Mm -hmm. And right now, I've started doing my coaching course. Mm -hmm. I'm doing my uh, B, yeah. uh, because of the COVID, we've been online. Mm -hmm. So that has kept COVID me. COVID has hit a yeah, lot of us. Yeah, it a lot of us. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm still working on that. So that is taking most of my time. Yeah. And uh, only Mondays, mm -hmm. that there's a place called Baleshi Park mm -hmm. where all the stars go to play football. Hey. So every Monday. You see the like of um, August Danifo, Sami Kufo, uh, Kwame Ayu, them, my seniors. So we wow. play together. That's off the pitch show we've been doing every Monday. Wow. So today, as you can see, <laughs> I normally you know, have my sandals on, my heels on, but I brought my trainers here. Right. Especially <laughs> for you today. Right. Do you think I look the part to join you on your Monday football adventures? You look sporty. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> I have a special uh. invitation. <laughs> to play football with the Ghana Black Stars by our legend, John Pencil. Okay, so Mr. John, before you go, right. I know you are able to turn even the most mediocre players into the best players. Right. And I did not put my trainers on for nothing. Or okay. I need <laughs> you to teach me how to shoot a goal. All right. Can you? Why not? One favor. You're welcome. Yes. I'll do that for you. I'll help you. Okay. <laughs> but I have fantastic goalkeeper. Be careful. He can dive. Oh, I'm scary, you know. I'm yeah. fierce. I've got strong legs. <laughs> All right. So, you see, that's the, the angle of the pole. Yes. Okay. And then he's in the middle. Okay. So sometimes you balance. Okay. Like how you're standing. Yeah. It's perfect. Mm. So now you look that side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you can pass it there. Okay. Or you can whip it here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because okay. if you kick it straight, you will catch it. You will catch it. Okay. Yeah. So when you stand here too, when you stand here, your mm -hmm. chances of missing it is high. Oh. So when you move one side, it's side. difficult for a goalkeeper. Okay. You know where the ball is going. The ball yes. can go here, can go here. Wow. Okay. So now over to you. No pressure. <laughs> on, on my whistle. Hey. <laughs> on my whistle. Hey, Radier. <laughs> They're all watching, guys. How embarrassing if I miss. <laughs> hey. It's a goal. <laughs> Let me do my. I remember. Stand mm -hmm. to the side. <laughs> well done. Well done. Oh my God. Well do you see what the John Pencil <laughs> Academy is doing? They have turned a Kriya Dimples into a professional footballer. <laughs> Well done, Equia. Ah, well done. I am well evident. Done. You are a good learner. Ah, Fantastic. You are a great teacher. Ah, thank you. Wow, I took thank the you. tips from you. Yes. I applied it and look at this. Yes. Young men, if you are watching, <laughs> don't just sit there. You need to find John Pencil Academy. We need the best of the best. Yes. You have his email. Yes. Be in contact. Don't miss this opportunity, okay? God bless you all. <laughs> <laughs> but I really want to speak to some of your boys because coming here, they look so disciplined, but I could tell they are really happy and it's a real family here. Right. Can I speak to a few of them? Yes, yes, sure, sure. Roland, Junior, Kelvin, please. Wow, look at the way they're jogging here. Guys, look at this. Hey! Yeah, when the coach calls you, don't walk. Proper right. footballers, wow. Good afternoon, boys. How are you all doing? So I have been here today and I've seen you have been actively at work since half six. How has it been in the John Pencil Academy? To say about our training, it's always about determination and hard work. Wow. When you are no one, I, I don't think you can be part of us. Mm. That's all I can say for now. Wow, so determination is what brings you to this academy. Yes. Okay, so brother, if I ask you, how long have you been here? How has the experience been? I've been here for about three months ago. Okay. And everything is going on well. We have good training every day. 
Mm. And we have enough vodka to satisfy ourselves. Wow. Yeah. Lovely. So finally, you know, if there's one thing that you have learned from working with John Pencil, because not, there are many football academies out there, you know, with different coaches, but you are being trained by one of Ghana's best. So tell me if there's one thing you have learned from him about football, what is it? Um, I would say we are more or less like an institution. Mm. We have our do's and don'ts. Yes. If you, when you come here, you have to work hard. Mm. We respect each other. Mm. We have our money here. Yeah. So if you're a player and you don't respect your coaches or your teammates, I'm not sure you can be here. Mm. That's what we don't see. I love that. He said harmony. There is harmony in this football team. I hear many times on some football teams and there's this jealousy and this person, that person, but there is harmony in the John Pencil Football Academy. It's been absolutely amazing speaking to you and really hearing it from the boys themselves and the impact he's having in their lives. Thank you for joining me. It's our pleasure. Okay. Thank you. So guys, we have been here at the John Pencil Academy. You've seen it, how amazing he made me in just, what, three seconds? We've spoken to the boys and the discipline is real. I, I've never been to a football academy and felt like I've met professional players, but the discipline is here. Like the boys said, there's harmony and also determination to succeed. And I think it's so inspiring that such a well-known, internationally accredited footballer is able to step back, come back home, and do what he can for his country and the motherland. I'm really inspired, honestly, and speaking to him, he's such a humble man. And I think that's what I'm taking away with me today. No matter how high you get, humility is still key. Determination is key. And making sure everywhere you go, you don't let the pepper get in your eyes, but you continue to strive and strive for bigger, better and greater. Thank you for joining me today, family. If you are new, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think and what you have learned from today's video and hit that like button. Until next time, it's kiss from the dimple. Kiss from the dimple. Equia a dimples. Let me get my ball. I'm officially part of the John Pencil Academy. I am signing out. Hey. Go! <laughs>